What's up everybody? It's your boy, me here. It's really hot outside. And uh, according to my weather app, it is going to be... Um, oh, it's cool. It's going up to 91 today at, five, at 4 p.m. It's going up to 95 on Friday, uh, which is frankly horrible. Uh, however, I cannot stop thinking. Thoughts are going through my head at a million miles an hour. And I think the thing that jump-started this, this is, that's my wrist rest there. The reason why my wrist rest there is because I have this horrible membrane keyboard uh, connected to my computer. And the reason why is because last night I was being zero head and I, I, I uh, just, just pushed water all over my keyboard. I didn't actually pour, I knocked it over and some water got on my keyboard. But uh, here's a horrible thing. So last night, um, I was like, oh, well, I just spilled water all over my keyboard. I'll get a towel, and I'll just put my keyboard on this towel. But the keyboard was up. It should have been upside down. So uh, this morning, I plugged it in, and it worked for like 10 minutes, and then it stopped working. So I think it's broken, uh, which it's a shame. I got it as a gift. Uh, but here's the thing. My dad also got the exact same keyboard, and he stopped using it. Uh, and he got a separate mechanical keyboard, a different mechanical keyboard, uh, because it was way too loud, the Razer one, which is fair. It is quite loud. Um, and uh, so we do have an exact copy of the same keyboard, but I'm just I'm just hoping hoping that this keyboard isn't uh, broken, so then I don't have to use his old one, uh, because I I just think that's really mean. I think that's rude. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, so I, I I watched this live streamer right, and uh, back before I watched this live streamer, because the live streamer I watch right now is like my main streamer that I watch right, and um. I remember hearing on the stream, he's buddies with uh, Jay Schlatt, right? And uh, I used to watch him almost every day because he streamed it every weekday at 6 p.m. PST. And, uh, you know, I used to watch Jay Schlatt. And uh, he hasn't streamed for like a year and a half, maybe two years. He hasn't streamed for a long time. Not during coronavirus, for sure. And uh, I remember hearing that he has a really active offline chat. And I was like, what? <laughs> like that like sometimes he's in there and uh, I was like this is some crazy content that I'm missing out on and so here I was just waiting in the twitch chat and uh then somebody posted Mizkif hypers uh, a Mizkif sub emo and so I messaged them and I was like hello I heard a rumor that subscribers and other people regularly talk in here because there's no longer a jshlat discord is this true I'm messaging you because I typed in jshlat's chat and I'm just curious I'm messaging you because you just typed in Jshlast cat in chat and I'm just curious. It seems like a really tiny corner of the internet and I'm, and I'm interested in that sort of stuff. And they said, um, uh, 12 minutes later, ah, uh, kinda, we just chill in here. Not really as active, but it used to, as it used to be, but we've made good friends here, made friends and stuff. Usually just come and talk to people when I'm in there and bored. And, uh, you know, I'm not too sure if these people want their chat messages read out, but it's basically like, oh, I got a new phone. What phone did you get? Oh, I got an iPhone 8 Plus. And it's like, oh, I just, somebody gifted a tier one sub to somebody because, I don't know, they couldn't afford a sub, so then they could stop talking in chat. And, uh, you know, everybody's very happy about that. They posted a couple white people happy, some drakes, uh, you know. And uh, I just find that crazy interesting. And you, ooh, sorry about that. I'm okay there. I think it's because, you know, my computer's currently mining cryptocurrency. Oh no, there's a delay. I'm so sorry. Uh, I apologize. Yeah, there's a delay now. My bad. Anyways, so uh, I just find stuff like that especially interesting. Like for example, um, I, I'm sure a lot of you know Wilbur Soot. He makes like Minecraft content. Um, and I still watch some of his videos nowadays. They're pretty good. But back before he did his current Minecraft content, let me bring this up. Wait. I can't type on this keyboard. Uh, here we go. He used to have a, um, this Minecraft channel. And I used to watch it all the time. I, I downloaded his videos on my Valtrex channel. I re-uploaded a lot of the unlisted ones. And uh, he totally used to have his channel. And, uh, you know, I just find that the craziest thing in the world. Um, and, I, you know, a couple years ago, uh, so Wilbur Soot is the same guy who ran Soot House 
and also the same guy who ran this Minecraft and Donuts channel. So I remember making a video about two years ago on this channel uh, talking about how, oh, I think Wilbur Soot is the same guy who runs Soot House and also the same guy who runs the Wilbur Soot channel, which at the time, which now is his Wilbur Music channel. And he has a few unlisted videos. So his Wilbur Music channel used to be his main Wilbur Soot channel, but then he changed Wilbur Soot into Wilbur Music and then he made a new Wilbur Soot channel for his current content. Um, and then the Minecraft and Donuts YouTube channel, Wilbur Soot himself, commented on my video saying uh, something like, this is untrue, which is obviously a joke because he's talked about this channel before and how he's owned it. Uh, but I just find that so weird. And, uh, you know, I was looking on Twitter, I remember, like, I'm pretty sure, uh, I was pretty sure that Wilbur Soot had a lot of stands and stuff. Um, so, you know, I looked on Twitter, uh, like, Minecraft and Donuts, right? And uh, somebody, somebody had made this Wilbur Soot iceberg <laughs> chart, right? And, uh, you know, you know people on Twitter, right? They, uh, yeah, you post this iceberg chart and you highlight which ones you know about. And uh, somebody had highlighted almost all of them. And they had highlighted setting 66, which was Wilbur Soot's old username. But they hadn't highlighted Minecraft and Donuts. And they didn't know what Minecraft and Donuts was. And this person was like, oh, I've been such a big fan. I've been watching Wilbur for th three years since he started his channel. And listen, okay, I've been watching Wilbur Soot for 10 years. Okay, you have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, you know, that that sort of stuff. I don't know. Not not to gatekeep um fans. I, I, I don't I don't watch his content all that much anymore. Um it's still it's still very funny to me. Um Oh and another thing, there's this YouTube channel called Folding Ideas. He makes phenomenal content. I think his name is Dan Olson. And uh, you know, I actually discovered discovered his channel um after watching M. Fleming's video, Why You Should Like Dislikes, uh something like that. And uh, he kept showing the screenshot of a tweet from this guy called Dan Olson, where it was like, removing dislikes isn't just a good thing, it's a great thing, which I disagree with. I think dislikes are a great feature on YouTube, and I agree with Emplum on this one. Uh, but um, I remember in his later videos, and also on his Twitter, Emplum's Twitter, he just kept posting photos of Dan Olson's face, and I, it was just so weird. It was a weird thing, and I was like, what are you doing? So I looked up Dan Olson, looked up his content, watched a lot of his content, it's all very good. And uh, I found out the reason why he hates him so much, uh, and I, this was partly described in the video, um, he has his dislikes and dislikes off. And so, you know, I've always been thinking about this. And after watching a lot of his videos and going through some trips on the Wayback Machine, I found out that he used to upload his videos to Blip TV, I think, which was a YouTube competitor that shut down a while ago. And I don't think they had likes and dislikes. And so when he was uploading his content and uploading it to Blip TV, he was more considering it more of a, um, a way to put his content, like it's a movie or television show and he's just putting it online instead of being like, oh, these are YouTube videos and I'm a YouTuber influencer making YouTube videos, uh, which, you know, I'm so sorry about this delay, um, which, you know, when you think about it, uh, makes a lot more sense in the YouTube ethos. So when Blip TV shut down, he moved all of his content to YouTube and since Blip TV doesn't have likes and dislikes, those videos didn't have likes and dislikes. And you know, he's enabled likes and dislikes now and he has a very good like to dislike ratios. But I assume that at the time when he made that tweet and when he had dislikes and likes removed on his videos, he was under the assumption uh, that dislikes were horrible because you know, why Blip TV removed them? And also, uh, he, he's, uh, he's, rather le he's rather left wing, I suppose. And uh, you know, a lot of people who are in that space, but also aren't very educated on YouTube and YouTube culture, uh, generally think like d dislike bombs or a thing and stuff. And uh, when really that's just not the case. Um, still though, Dan Olson, phenomenal content. Uh, yeah. And uh, what's another thing? Yeah, so I think that's it. So just really tiny, minute stuff like that is super interesting to me. And uh, you know, I wish there weren't I, I wish there were spaces like that where you can talk about really minute internet things and people. Uh, that's not overran by crazy people, of course, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. All right. Um, see you, dude.